or we, you know, we could treat it like a 401k, right? So we know that studies show that if you were opted into a 401k and you have to opt out to get out of it, that more people are likely to contribute. They're more likely to participate, to take part. And so why don't we opt in residents into coaching or counseling so that they have sessions booked for them and days off that we have provided and said, Hey, you have half a day off. You have a counseling session that we have arranged for. If you don't want it, you can opt out of it, but otherwise we are encouraging you to attend. Right. And by doing so, you're saying, Hey, we support wellness and physicians, and we recognize that you probably need to talk about some things. Right. And by doing that, you're not stigmatizing it. You're not saying, Hey, opt into this. If you need it, broken physician, you're saying, Hey, we're all broken to some extent. We all need to talk about things. And Hey, even when things are going well, it's usually really helpful to talk to talk to someone else. And which, you know, comes up in coaching all the time. Like, Hey, I'm, I'm not burned out. Is this for me? I'm like, yes. Like you can go from good to great. Like you don't have to be burned out to, to benefit from coaching. Right. And so until our, our paradigm, our perspective on wellness becomes proactive and we are not only saying with our words that we care about this, but we're actually building programs and solutions that show that, um, you know, it's not going to change, but if we had program directors, assistant program directors, leaders in healthcare out there that made this normal, that made it expected to take care of yourself and that they did that by actually building processes that showed that they did like the one I just mentioned like that, that's going to help a ton because right now it's all, it's all just lip service. It's all lip service. Um, and 